In a nutshell, market slash product fit is the degree to which your product meets the needs of your target market. To achieve market slash product fit, you must first understand your target market's needs and then build a product that meets those needs. It sounds simple enough, but it can be difficult to achieve in practice. There are a lot of factors to consider, and if you don't get it right, you risk wasting time and resources on a product that no one wants. The market slash product fit process is crucial to any business's growth strategy. It involves finding the right market for your product or service and then developing a product or service that meets the specific needs of that market. When starting a business, it is important to have a clear focus to be successful. Market slash product fit can be used to determine what the best focus for your business should be. It considers the needs of your target market and the products or services you offer. To use the market slash product fit, first, you need to identify your target market. This can be done by research or talking to people in your industry. Once you have a good understanding of who your target market is, you need to determine what their needs are. This can be done by conducting surveys or interviews with potential customers. Once you know your target market's needs, you can match them up with your products or services. There are a few key principles to keep in mind when it comes to market product fit. The first principle is to always start with the customer. What does the customer want or need? What are their pain points? What would make their life easier? Understanding the customer can develop a product that meets their needs. The second principle clearly defines success for both the customer and the company. What are the desired outcomes? What does success look like for each party? By clearly understanding what success looks like, you can develop a product more likely to achieve that success. The third principle is to focus on delivering value. What value will the product add for the customer? How will it make their life better? By focusing on delivering value, you can increase the chances of achieving market product fit. The fourth principle is always to test and validate your assumptions. Don't assume that you know what the customer wants or needs. Test your assumptions with real data and feedback from actual customers. This will help you refine your product and increase the chances of achieving market product fit. By following these principles, you can increase your chances of achieving a market product fit and developing a product that meets the needs of your target market. We take a systematic and comprehensive approach to understanding and analyzing our customer needs, GTM strategy, and product market fit. This allows us to make well-informed decisions on how to optimize our go-to-market strategy. The first step is to segment our market and understand the needs of each customer group. This helps us determine which channels and messages will most effectively reach our target market. Once we clearly understand our target market, we develop a detailed GTM strategy outlining each initiative's objectives, tactics, and timelines. We then focus on execution, ensuring that each plan element is executed flawlessly. Throughout this process, we continuously measure results and fine-tune our strategy based on customer feedback. This helps us ensure we always deliver maximum value to our target market. Market slash product fit provides an immediate opportunity to take the reflective process into a collaborative process. When you have a clear market slash product fit, you can immediately take the reflective process into a collaborative process. With a focus on what your target market wants and needs, you can bring together a team of experts to validate or invalidate your assumptions quickly and efficiently. Achieving market slash product fit results from developing an intimate understanding of your target market and what they need or want from a product or service like yours. This understanding comes from research, surveys, interviews, or other forms of collaboration with members of your target market. Once you have this understanding, you can create a laser-focused product or service that meets the needs and wants of your target market. This focus will save you time and money in the long run because you won't be wasting resources on features or functions that no one wants or needs. Market slash product fit principles can be applied to any business, no matter its development stage. 
If you're starting, market slash product fit can help you validate your idea before you spend any money on development. If you're already in business, market slash product fit can help refine your offering to attract more customers and grow your business. In business, market focus is understanding what potential customers want from a product or service and then marketing and creating an appealing offer. Market focus refers to the chosen target market for a company's products or services. Many businesses make the mistake of trying to be everything to everyone, but this approach rarely succeeds. It is far better to focus on a smaller group of potential customers and understand their needs, wants, and desires. Once this is done, businesses can create an offer tailored specifically to them and has a much higher chance of success. There are several steps that businesses need to take to ensure they have the right market focus. Firstly, they need to understand who their target market is and what needs they have. Secondly, they must research the competition to ensure their offer is differentiated enough to succeed. Finally, they must create a marketing strategy to reach and appeal to their target market. If businesses take the time to get market focus right, it will pay off in the long run with increased sales and happier customers. Market slash product fit principles are important for any company seeking to bring a new product to market. But what secret ingredient can make or break a go-to-market strategy? Market timing is aligning your product launch with the right market conditions. It's about making sure that your product is ready for customers when they are ready for it. Market slash product fit principles are important, but market timing is the secret ingredient that can make or break a go-to-market strategy. When it comes to business, there are many different philosophies on how to succeed. But one of the most important factors in any business is finding your focus. And that's where a niche market can be a big help. A niche market is a small segment of a larger market with specific needs or desires. By catering to this smaller group, you can better focus your marketing and advertising efforts, leading to more sales and conversions. And because you're catering to a specific group, you're more likely to develop a loyal following among your target market. There are a number of other benefits to focused marketing as well. When you can better target your advertising, you'll save money by not wasting ad dollars on people who will never be interested in your product or service. You'll also be able to build up expertise in your field by becoming known as the go-to source for information on your particular niche. So if you're looking to take your business to the next level, consider finding your niche. It could be the key to unlocking your success. The benefits of market slash product fit versus product slash market fit is often debated in the startup world. The terms are often interchangeable, but refer to two stages of a startup's development. So, what is the difference between the two, and why is it important to understand the distinction? Product slash market fit is when your product satisfies a market need. In other words, you found a group of people willing to pay for your product because it solves their problem. Once you achieve product slash market fit, your goal is to scale the business by growing your customer base and increasing sales. Market slash product fit, on the other hand, is when your product fits within a particular market. This means you've identified a specific market segment interested in your product and tailor-made your offering to meet their needs. Market slash product fit aims to grow within that particular market segment rather than trying to appeal to a wider audience. There are several advantages to achieving market slash product fit over product slash market fit. First, executing a go-to-market strategy is much easier when you have a specific market segment in mind. This allows you to focus your marketing efforts and create messaging that resonates with your target audience. Additionally, it's easier to build relationships with potential customers and partners when you clearly understand who they are and what they're looking for. Finally, achieving market slash product fit gives you a better chance of developing a competitive edge within your chosen market segment. Of course, there are also some drawbacks to pursuing market slash product fit over product slash market fit. The main downside is that raising capital can be more difficult when focusing on a specific market segment. 
Investors are often more interested in businesses that have achieved or are close to achieving product slash market fit, as they offer a higher potential for growth. Additionally, it can be challenging to pivot from market slash product fit to product slash market fit if your business doesn't take off as planned within the chosen market segment. Learn more at business901.com.